Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Welcome to the kitchen, everyone. Today I'm gonna make a beautiful warm sago pudding and to me, I smell vanilla in the kitchen. Uh -huh. And you know vanilla means warmth, delicious, great, yes. amazing, everything. <laughs> I know, this is an amazing pudding that doesn't cost a lot of money. Mm. It's extremely economical and it tastes delicious. And that's perfect for these times. We want yeah. delicious food on a budget. Yes, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna use Clover's fresh milk. Okay. You know, it's got like 55 tests that it goes through. Oh, I just want girl. <laughs> Those tests. It's like, it's the best milk on the market. So if you want to try the best milk on the market, make sure you get yourself a bottle of this clover milk. Yeah. And you know, it's got calcium, protein, mm. all those n nine nutrients in it. And it tastes fresh for 18 days. Are you for real? Yeah. If you didn't know South Africa, now you know. We're putting you onto this. Do you know I've never tried sago before? I couldn't believe it when you told me before the show. I've never tried it before. I worked at a restaurant where it was on the menu, but I never tried it. I never ate it. I, I, wow. <laughs> this is a real old family recipe. This is my mom's recipe, so I hope you're gonna like it. It's uh, made from the milk, so you add your milk to your pot okay. first. And this is supposed to be soaked, but I didn't soak it. I just want to show the people, this is a consistency. So, so sago is like small little starch cor coral keys, coral keys, and you can use it, I use it in chicken pie. Oh, really? To thicken it? Have you not seen one in a chicken pie? Because that's, that's what I'm guessing now. So you could actually use it for a savory dish as well. Yes, you thicken like a pie, a chicken pie with it. Guys, we, we are serious about the recipes we're giving you here. So if you want all the recipe details, the information, make sure you go onto afternoonexpress.co.za to get this information. <laughs> But let's carry on with this because like, my, my mind is blown. I've never tried this and I want to try it today. So please show me what we do. So what you do now, you cook this on a very low heat for 15 minutes. Okay. It can stick on the bottom, burn a bit, but I love it. It's like a brown, yes. okay. burny flavor. Not like burn, burn, but like a brown caramelly flavor. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to wait for this to be done. And then what we do, we finish it up with an apricot jam. Okay. But you tell me what you're going to do with apricot jam today. All right, so normal recipes would just require apricot jam that's been like warmed up basically yes. but obviously like you mentioned vanilla and it made me think of the winter seasonings yes. and the winter flavors that we have so i've got some um apricot jam here i've got some cinnamon uh, cinnamon sticks some cloves and star anise so i figured because we want to like just take it up a notch with yes. the flavor i figured let's just add a bit more of these beautiful uh, aromatics to it so i'm just going to put these in here and let's just end it off with a zest of uh, lime juice at the end oh. or some lime zest on top just to know Give I it think it's brilliant time. because it's going to add so much flavor to the end dish. Because yes. we've got the base as vanilla in the dish. Yeah. But then those, those spices are just going to mm. give it up a notch. I'm going to wake our palates up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are cooked now, for, say, for about 15 minutes. You can okay. see that the pearls are starting, you, it starts to get okay. see-through, like, yeah, transparent. So <laughs> I'm going to add some sugar. We need some sugar for the sweetness. Then we're going to add some salt. And as you can see, I didn't add the sugar before the top. Yeah. Otherwise, it tends to burn easily. Okay, okay. And I'm going to add a bit of vanilla. So it's already a bit thickened up, but you want it richer. Okay. So I'm going to clit some eggs here. This is just, I've got three eggs that I've separated. So these are three egg yolks. Okay, so you want the yolk separate, the, the white separate, separate as well? Separate, okay. yes. And now the trick is, if you add that straight to that, you're gonna make scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. We all know that. We don't want scrambled eggs with frog's eyes. <laughs> Imagine the combination. So we need to temper our eggs. So I'm gonna add okay. some of this hot mixture in here and I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. Oh. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of more in here. So just like you would temper any custard, you're basically yes. doing that to make sure we don't curdle the eggs. Exactly. Thing. So I'm tempering that. And now I'm just going to add this mixture to this our pot and like that very slowly and you just keep on stirring, stirring, stirring. So this will be ready in about another minute or two. Okay. So basically what we've made here is a custard, an egg custard with some, with some sago inside. 
This is interesting, guys. Like, I'm t typically the rice pudding kind of girl. Yeah. But this might be my new favorite thing. Yes. Because been... of the cons consistency, the texture, yes. and I guess with those flavors that you've put in there. Yeah. And it's going to be better with your apricot jam. Imagine yeah. that. And the lovely thing about it is that because it's got the egg in there, because you've put it in the hot mixture, it actually cooks out the egg. So you're not tasting the you're egg. You're not tasting the egg at all. <laughs> the scale. This girl and her tricks. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to just strain yeah. my jam here so that all the aromatics stay on the one side and then I'm just going to drizzle some of this on top of my sago, sago pudding. pudding. So what I've got here, I've got egg whites, to stiff peaks. I'm going to take this off the heat. I just want to take it a little bit off the heat. And then I'm going to fold it in and I will just show this wow. to the camera. You don't clits it in, you actually just, it's a folding technique. Because you don't want it to go, it needs to be light mm. and fluffy. Mm. And the hot mixture cooks the egg the whites. Egg. Yes, so the egg whites are actually cooked. She's folded, folded, folded. I saw you grab a spoon, sister. <laughs> I I'm getting impatient. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting impatient, South Africa. I'm trying this for the first time. So and please uh, taste. bear with me. I want you to tell me what you think. Mmm. 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 What does it look like? Wow. <laughs> this is... This is rice pudding that went to private school. Thank you very Basically, much. Basically, this is what it is. And just that addition of the, the, the whites and the egg yolks makes it so much fluffy. Mm. I mean, if you can see, guys, it just jiggles. <laughs> it <laughs> jiggles <laughs> so nicely. It actually is delicious. It's nice and it's almost like a, but like you said, it's a pudding. So it yeah. means it's meant to be nice and jiggly. And, and it's warm and comforting. And everybody loves it. Oma loves it. Gogo, the children, the mother, father, everybody loves it. But can I have a bit of your apricot? Um, almost your definitely. beautiful apricot jam. Please. Thank do you. and guys make sure you get onto afternoonexpress.co.za to get this recipe because it is one of the most comforting winter recipes I've tried. Thank you so much. Mm. We are a winning duo, and if you <laughs> want to win, like we said, make sure you get that recipe for yourself because yeah. this is amazing. Thank it's you, delicious. Anna. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA, made with love by Clover.